guys, today we're going to have a look at a fantastic entry level AR-15. This is the Smith & Wesson M&T 15 Sport 2, and it is an awesome rifle. I'm going to show you around the rifle, and then we're going to change out some of the furniture. We're going to switch out the handguard, the grip, and the buttstock, so stay tuned. So here is the rifle, and uh, first things first, safety check because everybody likes this. No magazine, chamber is clear. So this is the M&P 15 Sport 2, and the difference between this rifle and the original Sport is this rifle has a forward assist and a dust cover. And that's it. So uh, let's go through the rifle and then we're going to switch out some furniture. So we're going So first of course we're going to switch out the handguard with the Magpul MOE uh, carbine handguard. Then we're going to switch out the grip with this MOE Plus grip. And finally, we're going to switch out the buttstock with this one from Magpul. So this rifle retails for somewhere around $600. Uh, some people are getting it for a little less. And if you can get it for even, uh, even less, that's great. But for the dollar, this is probably one of the best entry-level AR-15s that you can buy. Uh, it uh, has the Armonite barrel finish by Smith & Wesson and uh, a, li a limited lifetime warranty so you can't go wrong. It is gas operated and comes with a six position stock. The frame is aluminum alloy. The barrel is uh, chambered 556 NATO and it has a 1 and 9 twist. Um, some people prefer 1 and 8 but I think the 1 and 9 is fine I fired both 55 and 62 grain projectiles out of it no difference in accuracy um, it is 4140 steel and no it is not chrome lined standard front sights adjustable for elevation the rear sights are very nice uh, Smith & Wesson actually put uh, the Magpul MBUS pop-up sights on this rifle, uh, adjustable for windage. And these are nice sights and I think they retail for around $60. So that's a nice, a nice addition from Smith & Wesson. So some of you probably already noticed, um, I already have the the MOE Magpul uh, handguard installed. It's the first thing I did when I bought this rifle and honestly if there was one thing that you should upgrade on this rifle if you buy it it's definitely the handguard. The original one as you can see is um, about as basic as you can get. There's not much to it and there's no heat shield so if you start firing a lot of rounds uh, that's going to get pretty warm on your hand so that was the first thing that uh, that I removed and put on the MOE version, which is a very nice handguard. It feels a lot better in the hand, and it has a heat shield. And I think they retail for somewhere around uh, forty or forty-five dollars. I think I paid forty-five dollars for that. But installing it is very simple. Um, like anything on an AR, it's very easy to do, to customize. Basically, you're just going to pull down on this ring. Uh, these two pieces come apart, just like this. And then the two new pieces come on, and you let go of that ring, and it locks back into place, and the handguard is installed. It's, it's, it's very, very simple, and only takes about one minute to do it. So, uh, you guys won't have any trouble with that if you haven't done that before. 
Next up, we're going to uh, switch out the grip. Not that there's anything wrong with the grip that comes with this rifle, but I have to tell you that I'm not a really a big fan of this. It's um, it, it's it's got a good positive grip, but it's very it it is it's it's made out of plastic. It's polymer, and I really don't like this here where it separates your finger. It just it doesn't quite fit my hand the way I would like it to. So uh, let's switch this out. And like anything, again, on an AR, this only takes a minute to do this, but in this case, you are going to need a tool. You will need a 3 16 hex key. So doing this, again, is very simple, though. So basically right down in here in the grip, there is a hex bolt, and it's going to... Simply unscrew it. And when you do, uh, the grip just comes right off. And also notice there's a little spring, so be careful that you don't lose that. If you can... That spring goes right in that that little divot right there. Okay, let's unbox this thing. I've been dying to look at this. Oops. And there it is. Very simple. Oh wow, yeah, that feels a lot better in the hand. It's got a, a, a nice hard rubbery texture to it. And I love the beaver tail. And it also has a little, a little bonus compartment here. So that just pops off. And they did send an extra screw with it. Nice. So putting this on is uh, as simple as taking it off. Fits right into place. And simply screw it back in. And give it a little tighten. And we're done. And that looks a lot better and you can see how it fits much better and yeah I can it's a big difference that really feels a lot uh, that feels a lot better in the hand yeah I'm gonna really like this that's nice Okay, and finally, the buttstock. So let's unbox this. And some warnings. And there it is. <clears throat> oh, even get a Magpul sticker with it. And what's this? Oh, wow, what the? What is this? It's like a big huge humongous Magpul poster 2016 with every every Magpul part ever made. Nice. Well, I'll look at that later. Let's do this butt stock. And there it is. Nice. Now again, it's one of those, um, this is one of those parts where you don't have to switch this out, but uh, I want to because this, the one that comes with this rifle is again, very basic. Um, it's, there's, it's, it's really not very much. I don't like the, uh, 
the actual butt itself. Um, hear that? Most of the, they, they all do that, but this, this new one won't. I'll show you how that works in a minute. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is pretty simple. So let's get rid of this and put on the Magpul. So if you've never seen this done before, this is very easy uh, to do. And again, this is why we love our AR-15s. It is so easy to customize these things. So you know how you will push the lever down to adjust your buttstock? Well, to remove it, all you do is push the lever down the other way and pull it right off. That's it. Putting the uh, the new one on is, is, is just as easy. You're just going to simply slide it into place. This is really hard to do this holding it. You need to pull down on the the uh, the lever and then pull down the release pin at the same time and then slide the uh, and slide it on and slide it into place. And that's it. Now the uh, the CTR butt stock was another an extra twenty dollars. And what it has is this anti, uh, this uh, friction lock, I guess it's called this friction lock. And so basically, you know how you got that little bit of jiggle in the stock? So once you get it adjusted to where you want it, simply press this lever in, and all that jiggle is gone. Nice and solid. And I really like the looks of this stock, it's much better. The lever is protected, and uh, the butt stock itself is a, a very nice. A very nice high quality thick rubber so that's it guys that's the uh, M&P 15 Sport 2 by Smith & Wesson um, for $600 give or take probably the best entry-level AR-15 you can buy for the money and uh, for $150 you can upgrade the buttstock, the grip, and the handguard. Um, and then you've got a really, really nice entry-level uh, AR-15. But for, for the price, you can't go wrong. I think everybody should go out and buy one of these rifles. Um, and, uh, yeah, go do it. Have fun. Happy shooting. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And stay tuned until next time.